Well, hello again, kindred spirits. Today I am opening an order from the Netherlands of paper white bulbs that I ordered just for the store. I know I won't have any for online. These usually go fairly quickly. Whenever I shop for them in November, a lot of times they're sold out. So I figured this way, I am guaranteed to have some for my own home. And I'm also going to share some now with some of the shoppers at our little mercantile at Twin Elm Farms in Peterborough, New Hampshire. I have never opened a container like this before. I don't know if they're free floating. I don't know if they're in a container. And I don't know what size container to bring to the shop. So I figured we'd do this together. Now, many of you who've been following for years know that I've been planting paper whites in the house and I like to wait until after Christmas so that they're growing in February and in January or in January and February. And that way I can enjoy the upcoming spring because it's already a long winter once you get started here in New England. So back to these containers, I don't know which size I'm going to need for the shop. And reason being is, once again, I don't know what this is gonna be like once I open them. Also, I have limited space in the shop. Now I'm thinking this plastic container will probably be best because I have a, a dresser set up that I can fit this on. And then I've created some bags where those who want to buy the bulbs can actually write in how many they have for the front counter to know. So I did this last night up until about midnight working on that. So and this is another container I was thinking of if I wanted to keep replenishing, this would be prettier, but I need to see what the bulbs look like. So I'm, I'm winging this here. I don't know, once again, plastic. I have this big container, which would be pretty, but once they get taken, then you'll have just a few in this large container. I don't know, but let's just get right to this. I'm gonna put this in here for now. Okay, here it goes. During the construction, I can't find my box cutter, so I'm just gonna go in like this and go through at least one layer and see what we have. Oh boy, look it. They are free floating. So I'm gonna take off the top like a lid, I think. When I purchased my bulbs at local stores, I guess I just never, I mean, I realized they came usually from, from the Netherlands, but it's kind of neat getting items from out of the country. You know, a lot of the items I've been ordering for the shop are from, from Europe. Let's see, oh, look at these beauties. Some of them have already started to sprout. So I'm looking at the amount in this box and I'm thinking, let's see, what am I thinking? It might be pretty if it goes in this container. Ugh, don't know what to do with all these bags though. Let's, let's try them in each container. I have a feeling this one will be pretty. It will take up less space. I have to clean up some stuff there. And I bought this specifically. I don't know if you can see, it might not be in frame. I bought this specifically the other day at a consignment store, thinking of these bulbs would be very pretty. They'd be easy to get into. Let me see if I can turn this a little bit for you. Easy to get into. Um, and I think that would be pretty cool. And this one, you know, takes up more space, but it might just hold the same amount because it's shallower. So let's fill up this glass bowl. This morning I was realizing I better remind myself to keep some for myself here at home, but um, they're nice and cool still. I had them on my porch. Now, if you purchase these either at my shop or out and about, you wanna keep them in a cool, dry place until you are ready to plant them. 
And really, I've like I said, I have quite a few videos. These are so easy. All you need to do is put them in some gravels, some soil. You can even use marbles and you just place them on top and water it so that the water comes to the roots and slowly but surely, well actually fairly quickly, they start to grow. Now, some of you may have seen the video that I had on ginning my tulip bulbs to make them shorter, which very much worked, but it depends. Sometimes they get very tall and bend over. In some of my videos, I show how I use twigs and sticks to prevent that. You know, I'm gonna fill this up probably faster than I'm thinking I would, but let's just keep going with it and see how many I get in here. Each package I have here is, I believe, 100. So, and I'm gonna take off just some of this skin just to start so it doesn't make a big mess. I think I'll grab some that have already started to sprout. I know some of you have mentioned, oh, look at this, I have a double. I have never come across a double before. That's pretty cool. I've had some of you mention that the scent for you is very strong and I agree, they are. So when I usually plant these and put them in the house, for some photos, I'll probably put them in an area that I'm letting another double that uh, we are sitting in. But for the most part, I keep them in a room that gets a lot of light and that they can grow and I don't have to smell it like 24 seven because they are strong. Plus I, I plant a lot together. Oh, it looks like we might get a good amount in here. I'm making sure that there's no, like this one's kind of punky. I'm not gonna put that one in. I wanna make sure that nice healthy bulbs are going in. Quite a few doubles, this is fun. I'm gonna grab some that are starting to sprout already. Hmm. I think I'm gonna try planting a lot of the doubles here at home. Speaking of planting, I bought some of the blue and white striped squill to plant this fall, and I also bought garlic, and I got some hyacinth and more white flowers. We already had our first frost. I'm trying to decide if I still wanna plunk them in and see if they take, which I might. I might do that this weekend. Uh, weather's supposed to be beautiful for the next few days in the 70s. So hopefully the ground is still nice and warm to do this. We're gonna get quite a few in here. And I do pop into the shop quite often um, to replenish. I had uh, some people think that I wasn't doing much sales in the shop. They don't realize that I'm there almost every day or every other day um, bringing things back in. So it's, it's, uh, it's going well there. Thank you so much. Some of these I'm just not quite sure of. I've had duds before where I plant them and they haven't grown. And I've even tried to grow them again the second year. It did not work. If you have done it successfully, uh, let me know what you did or what part of the country you live in. But um, I've tried it um, you know, for several years. It didn't work. Yeah, a lot of these that don't look like they've started right inside. I can see the green little shoots coming out. It's so fun. All right, so this box is empty. Look at all, I've got a lot of skins left here. I'm gonna put that out in the compost pile. And so I'm gonna keep quite a few of these until they start to sprout, which needs to be just more in the warmer weather here in the warmth of the house for a little bit. ready to bring to the shop. The back of my phone is making prisms 
on the wall. Isn't that beautiful? My mother used to hang crystals in her, her, her windows and we'd walk upstairs and there'd be rainbows all over the wall. It was beautiful. It's another cool morning and as you can see, it was still October because I have some Halloween things up here. But I'm cleaning some silver and silver plated items that are going to be going into the shop. And I'm trying to get my act together with keeping things organized, but it's, you know, it's a challenge. Over here I have some glass containers full of soaps and one of them is peppermint. And man, is it strong smelling. It's a foot soak. That I have two computers going here. One's Ben for Ben's for inventory, and one is for my information. But I just have some fall decorations up here, fires going, and I'm just making a cozy time of it. Here's something I wanted to show you. And unfortunately, I didn't think about keeping it together until I realized I wanted to show you. But I have been looking for something unique to hang these beautiful handmade ornaments on. I have all different types. I have horses, inkwells, topiaries. They're handmade in the United States. And against a tree for this open house, I thought would just be a little bit too normal. So I figured why have something too normal to show them. So I went out and looked for something a little different. I found a candelabra that I already took off all of the holders, the candle holders, which was something like this at the top. Not something like this, actually just like this at the top. And I took them all off. So what I also liked about this, it's sturdy. And then I can hang the ornaments on here at all different levels. And it has a unique look. But something like this you could do as well at home. If you have a few ornaments that you absolutely love, you could find a large candelabra. I still have all my mess here, so please disregard. So you can find a large candelabra and make it a ornament holder. I've got to put a little felt pad at the bottom because there's one missing. But I thought that was a fun idea. Over here, just because I'm looking at it, I went out and looked at some more tile and whatnot for the butler's pantry. I really loved this for the back, and it goes nicely with the cabinet color. But I'm also thinking of doing a fairly busy wallpaper and I just need to make sure that the patterns don't clash. So a backup I have, I know some of you mentioned about the glass tile and being fragile and scratching, I agree because when I was looking at glass tiles, some of them were broken. But the butler's pantry is not going to get a lot of things hitting the back wall. So a backup, I did find this creamy colored glass tile that goes beautifully with the countertop. It goes beautiful with that. And if I can find the wallpaper that I'm thinking of a similar pattern, I will show you. But I did like this look. This would also make a beautiful floor, wouldn't it? The other option was the white, but I, now that I'm looking at it, I'm not sure if I want to do the stark white. Something else I wanted to show you, I'm trying to find something to go around the fireplace. This area cannot have anything that's flammable. The side, I can put anything up to this point that is um, sheetrock. So I wanted to have something. I'm either looking at having, this is a man-made product, but it looks like soapstone. I could do that around and look at my fingerprints right now because of the, um, the silver cleaner that I have going there. So I could do this. 
but I also found the brick veneer. These are actual old bricks that have been cut in half. And I also am very much considering this. This was the first thing I thought about. Now they've got a, several different colors and I figured if I don't like the color once it's up, I can change it a bit. And if you missed my video about when I painted the bricks to look old, it's somewhere back on my videos and I will try to link it below. So that's where I'm at with some of these, um, the selection process still. Like I said, I'm really loving this for the butler's pantry, but I'm gonna see if I can find that wallpaper. It's not the right color, but I wanted to show you kind of the pattern I was thinking about. If it's not in this video, I'll show you in another video. I'm trying to really get ready. I have a car to load. This week is our Christmas open house at the shop, November 3rd through 6th. So I can't believe I have Halloween out, fall out, and I'm decorating for Christmas, but that's a retailer thing. I remember having to do it very early when I had my own stores. I walked around Sugarwood and cut some fresh greens and I'm going to tuck them in this garland I put together. It's actually a green wreath and then a garland of fruit. And I'm just tucking in a lot of the live greenery and I really love how it adds another texture and additional dimension. And there's also some little fairy lights that I'll be lighting up for the open house. But let me just give you a little tour. Um, this was before it was completely set up and done, but you'll get an idea. And then I'm going to show you some of the other rooms. I hope you enjoy.